Attack on Mika. My name is Ichi. After getting trained at a ramen restaurant called Shaya Kanetsu Menta, I borrowed a ward down restaurant and became an independent owner. But my restaurant wasn't as popular as I wanted it to be. Thanks for waiting. Here's your ramen. Owner! Can you put this on my tab today, too? Uh, you did that last time, too, didn't you? This is Hideo, and he attends a university close by. He's apparently on a tight budget and comes to my place a lot, but... Who cares? You don't have any customers other than me anyways. We do have other people other than you. But Hideo's still a student and must have it hard. Uh, fine, you can put it on your tab again. Seriously? Thanks, man! Oh, hey, Ichi-san. Are you sure it's okay? It's not like this place is super popular or anything. That's fine. My mentor always said, if you treat your customers well, you'll be rewarded for it one day. And that's what he taught me. So I decided that I'll be kind to everyone, no matter who they are. That reminds me. You let an old person who was struggling with money eat ramen for 10 cents, didn't you? You have to be better at judging people, though. Ah! Huh? What was that sound? Uh, are you okay? Uh, oh, God. Her water broke, too. At least save my baby. Please keep it together. I'm going to call an ambulance right away. Uh, this isn't any of my business, so uh, see ya. What? Is he running away? The pregnant woman was taken away by an ambulance after that. I prayed for the pregnant woman's safety as I watched the ambulance drive off, but from the following day, the people who passed by my restaurant disappeared. Thanks to that, even fewer people came to eat here, and it was common to have zero customers at times. What happened to everyone? Hello! What, what's wrong? Why are you making that face? Sir, the truth is... Oh, uh, you haven't heard about the rumors yet. A rumor? Uh, you called an ambulance a little while ago, Royce. Because of that, there's a rumor saying that this restaurant caused a problem or something. But, I mean, it's just a rumor. It'll probably die down after a little while. He's right. It's not like it's all over. I have to earn back everyone's trust somehow. I can't face my mentor like this. From that day on, I worked even harder to gain back everyone's trust. I created a new menu and passed out flyers. I did everything I could in my power. Thank you so much! And a few years passed by after that. Financially, the place wasn't doing amazing as always, but I slowly got more regular customers. Thank you for waiting. There's one other thing that changed. That is... All right! I got the SSR! Hideo? You're still on the job, so can you not slack off? There are no customers anyway. Who cares if I sit back a little? Who do you think is giving you your paycheck? Hideo got a big boy job after graduating college, but was fired because of his irresponsible attitude. He was trying to find a new job, but it wasn't working out for him. I decided to hire him because he was in trouble. Duh! Besides, no one expects anything from me. There's no point in working hard, you know? That's not true. If you work hard, someone will acknowledge it. At the very least, I expect a lot of things from you, Hideo. Then Ooh. give me a pay rise! I can't do that. We're barely getting by as it is. <laughs> what a stingy boss. If you have time to complain, start working. Duh! I can't work at a broke restaurant like this. Isn't there a way I can make money easily? Huh? Isn't that the inside of that? What's wrong, Hideo? It's nothing! I'm gonna clean the entrance of this place real quick! And what happened all of a sudden? Next up is Mika-chan, the elementary school genius! Huh? A genius, huh? If I was a prodigy, maybe I could have made this place popular super quickly. <laughs> oh, welcome! You're quite the guy too, aren't you, Ichi-san? Huh? That was awesome about you outside just now. She was a really cute girl. What? There's no way that's possible. I'm just a broke owner of a ramen restaurant. Well, I'm just saying, some girls are still interested, Ichi-chan. Anyways, one ramen, please. G coming right up. There's no way a girl could possibly like me. Ugh. But it would be nice if a really cute girl wanted to be my girlfriend or something. That's what I was thinking, but... The next morning, I found my restaurant completely ransacked. What the hell is this? Why does someone try to steal from a broke restaurant like this? The, the safe? The sales from this month and cash to pay back loans are inside there. I know! The security cameras! D Hideo? That guy. He betrayed me? I helped him so much when he was in trouble! There was no point in being kind to someone in the first place. I should have only focused on myself if I was going to end up betrayed. Sir, are you okay? You're the girl that was on television. The elementary school genius, uh, Mika-chan. Why are you here? You don't remember? You saved my mommy when she passed down in front of the store. 
Don't tell me. You're the child of that pregnant woman? Yep. She was able to safely give birth to me because of you, sir. Mika-chan told me all about what happened after the pregnant lady was brought to the hospital. Mika-chan was safely delivered after that, but her mother was extremely weak. She's been hospitalized ever since Mika-chan was born and finally went to heaven a month ago. Every time I went to visit my mommy, she told me to repay the good man for what he did. That's why I want to help you, sir. For my mommy, too. Rely on me if you're in trouble. Even if you say that, this isn't a problem you can solve. One of my part-time workers stole the restaurant's money. I can't operate this place anymore. I was able to keep this place open while barely making ends meet, but it's too much now. I have to run away at this rate. I won't forgive it. I won't forgive the person who treated you. The kind man who saved my mommy and I this way. I'll get that money back. So, if I can help you out, be my daddy. What? Why are you saying you need a dad all of a sudden? There's no one who can take care of me. I'm under foster care right now, but I want you to be my daddy, sir. Still, I can't do that. Even if I get the money, I don't have the brains to keep this place open. Then I'll help out with this place. I'll make sure more customers come here. But, but... Let's deal with all the small details later. Tell me everything you know about the person who stole from you, sir. I'm going to uncover where that person is at. Or what? Are you okay with not doing anything at all? I don't want to give up either. My mentor took so much care of me. I haven't even begun to return the favor. I knew I was insane for relying on a child. But my heart was broken from being betrayed by Hideo. So I told her everything. As though I was venting. So that's about it. I understand. Now, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Sure, but... Hello? Who is she calling? That was so easy to steal that restaurant's money. All right, how should I use this cash? Oh, I found him! Ah! How did you find me? I asked for information about you and predicted your next move. I never thought you'd actually find him. You really are a genius. Damn it! I can't be caught this way! Shoot! It's gonna run away from us! I can't leave her alone in this crowd. It's fine. I already predicted that he could run away, too. What? Ah! Man! What? Are those irregular customers at my restaurant? You've helped us out a bunch of times, ichi -san. No matter how tough of a situation you are in, you never forgot to be kind to others. That's why we support you no matter what, ichi -san. <laughs> This man saved this man and me too. Aren't you one of the people that he helped too? That's... Uh... He saved you when you were in trouble, but this is how you repay him? I can't believe you. You should regret your actions properly with the police, okay? Anything but the police! Come on, boss! Help me! It just happened in the spare of the moment. You'd normally forgive me, wouldn't you? It's true. I forgave you no matter what you did, Hideo. But I did all that because I believed in you and trusted you. Based on what happened here, I realized that I was wrong for trusting you. I'm not gonna baby you anymore! But... Here you go. You got your money back. Thank you. But why were my regular customers here too? Make a child told us about what happened earlier. I gave my number to her a while back too. Huh? Make a child was wandering around the front of the restaurant for a while now. She said she was nervous about meeting you, Ichi Sod, so she couldn't go inside. I gave her my contact information so she could talk to me in case anything happened. Are you saying that the girl you mentioned before, the one that likes me, is. It's not that I like you. It's just. My mommy always told me that you were a good man, and I was just a little curious. Still, thank you. I was able to get back my money thanks to you. Sh sure, but this isn't the end. We still have things that we need to do. From that day on, Mika stopped by the restaurant after school. She was a real genius and gave me ideas that I never would have thought of on my own. As we tested those ideas out, the restaurant increased its popularity. And a few years later, you're so grown now. Are you going to be a high schooler this year? Oh. Yes, Mika is our very important worker. Gosh, you're wrong. I'm your daughter, Daddy. Even after becoming a high schooler, Mika still adores me and calls me Daddy. I didn't legally adopt her, so I'm not a real dad, but... Even then, you're right. You're an important poster girl. And my precious daughter. <sighs> ah, your face is red. What's wrong? It, it's nothing. Come on, we have a lot of customers. Let's get to work. Y yeah, good things come to those who work hard for others. Just like I was able to be Mika after saving her mom. That's why I'm going to continue making this ramen restaurant a place that can make customers feel happy. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank <laughs> you.